First, gonna go to Whole Foods and pick up some groceries. I think I just need bread from there, and then I'm going to a different market for all my other veggies and produce and stuff. And then after that, I'm going to the farmer's market. I don't need too much, but one of my plant vendors that I really like, since it's the end of the season, I think I'll be having like a sale. So that's what I'm looking for, and maybe some meats and fruits. Hey gang, I just got home. I went to Whole Foods and picked up some bread. Why don't I give you all a little haul? From Whole Foods, I got, I only got bread. I don't shop for my other groceries at Whole Foods like fruits and pasta and sauces and basically everything else because I, not I think, because it is overpriced and it's just dumb. So I go to a different grocery store for that stuff. But the breads there are reasonably priced and cute. And boy oh boy they're good. So I just got a baguette. And then I also got more bread. I got, well it's sliced, so you can't really tell. It was called a French round. So that's what I got from Whole Foods. Then I went to the market and, oh my gosh, can you see this? And then I went to the market. I got strawberries. I don't know if it's called a pint. I don't know, two liters. I don't know how much this is. And I also got some kibasa. And this was, this cost me $4.10. Then I got plants. I'll show y'all. So right over here are the plants that I got. They're having 50% off all their hanging baskets. So for example, I think this is like $22, this string of buttons. And I got it for 11 and they also had string of hearts, string of pearls, <laughs> lots of strings, and Hoyas. And I'm going to hang her up right here. Alrighty. Next. There was a table of plants. And it said that they were all $9.75. But then I picked up this plant because this is one of the larger plants on the table. And the price tag said like $25.50 or something like that. But then he came up to me and was like, yeah, regardless of the price tag, they're all $9.75. And I also got... They had a deal where, they always have this every weekend. There's a huge table and it is five for $20. These are the five that I chose out. This one has a bunch of little pups growing on it that I could probably propagate. And this fuzzy one. So after I went to Whole Foods and the farmer's market, I honestly just chilled. I went for a little nap and then I've just been playing with the kitties. So. How many days ago? I think two two days ago we adopted a new little kitten from the Humane Society. We have two cats already and getting them to all get along is quite a task. So the kitten's been isolated to our bedroom since she's gotten home but now I'm letting her roam around the rest of the house and the other kittens are also just freely roaming around so I'm keeping a real a real keen eye out and if I hear any hissing or anything like that then I will separate them. So I got a good amount of hair off the kitty. I just got home from the grocery store and I thought I should give you a grocery haul. So, we shall begin. These bags are so gosh darn heavy. Okay, so this is like my weekly grocery run. Every week I go to the farmer's market and then I go to my local grocery store and that's where I get all my stuff. Midweek sometimes we'll go and pick up more meats and more fruits if we're out. Um, so yes, this is this is the usual stuff. Okay, well first, this isn't for me. This is for my boyfriend Derek. I don't eat these. I don't think they taste that good. It's these like these crispy minis. It was three for six dollars, I think. So I just got him a couple of those. Next, 
I got us some milks, or some milk alternatives. I drink the silk soy milk, and Derek prefers almond milk, so I got those. I also got some raspberries. And here in this household, we're really um, big pasta lovers. So to go along with all the pasta I got, I also got a couple sauces. This is vodka sauce, and this is Alfredo sauce. Next! I got some pizzas, because we were running out. I personally really, really like the Hawaiian <laughs> pizza by Dr. Edgar. So I got two of those. I got two Hawaiian pizzas, and I also got a restaurante, a restaurante <laughs> mushroom pizza. So I got those three, and then I also got, oh, I love these. So this is the Oreo ice cream sandwiches. If you have not tried it, I highly, highly, highly recommend. The only thing is, there's only four in here, and they are kind of pricey, so I only purchase them when they're on sale. And it was my lucky day, they were on sale, so I got them. I also got some ketchup. Um, this is not a weekly, <laughs> this isn't a weekly purchase, but we are running out, so I got that. Next! There's only one thing in here. I got some grass. I like to have fruits on hand in the house because that's what I like to snack on, or else I'll eat like chips or something. So my go-to fruits are green grapes, 1,000%, strawberries, like the ones I got from the market, and raspberries. Scrumptious and delectable! Okay. <clears throat> Next bag. I'm going along with the ice cream theme. I got some vanilla ice cream. I also, I don't buy this on a weekly basis, but um, I bought some apple crumble last week from the farmer's market, and I thought it would be real yummy, nice and warm with vanilla ice cream. Like, scrumptious and delectable. Okay, anyways. Um, okay, I got some bacon. This is for Derek. I don't know what bacon we usually purchase, so I kind of just like grabbed one. I got this. <laughs> I also got some cheese. This is Tex-Mex. Pre-shredded. I got some more cheese. I I use these cheeses for my baked mac and cheese. I get smoked cheddar cheese. I love this. This on a bagel, a toasted bagel melted. Mm, she's yummy. And then I also got some old cheddar. And then I just cut this up myself. And like I said, I really, really like pasta. And we are running very low. From my standards, I think we had one box left. And boy, oh boy, that's a no-go in this household. So I got a ton. I got some penne, I got some twisty, and then I got some fettuccine, which this is probably my favorite. And then I don't usually get this, but I saw it and I was like, you know, why not? It says white pasta, high fiber, and I need fiber in my diet. So I secured this. The last two items. Hey, I love you, kitty. So I got this huge, this was so expensive. This pure vanilla extract. They had this and they also had artificial vanilla extract, which was obviously much cheaper. And I was like, what does it mean if it's artificial? Does it just like, I don't know. I didn't really understand. <laughs> so I got, I got the pure because we were running low and I need this to bake cookies and cakes and all that yummy good stuff. Finally, I got some liverwurst. I usually get the regular liverwurst, but I decided to get liverwurst with herb today. Um, I've never tried this before, but we'll see. So, that's everything I got, and now I got to put this all away. <sighs> Let's begin. I need to clean up all this mess that my <laughs> cats have made because I have this shelf that I got from Ikea that I hold most of my plants and they can get onto the shelf now. Now I'm going to take off all the plants off the shelf and wipe it all down and get all the soil. Get it nice and clean back to where it used to be. These are all done and we'll go back in their spot. I just put all of the new succulents that I got today from the market and now it's a little bit tight. 
maybe I'll move some stuff around. Let me take this guy out. Because this tray and the one on top, these two shelves, have, um, have grow lights on them. So that will help these little propagations grow. The devil is on his way. Ah! <laughs> please, please don't ruin everything. Uh, no, baby, no, baby, no. Okay, okay. There goes my perfect arrangement. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well, I can't expect this to stay very nice <laughs> for long. Hey gang, we're gonna get into my Sunday little self-care facial routine, so let's do this. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair up. Tonight I'm gonna use Mask of Magnum and Tea from Lush. Yes, Kitty? Yes? What is it, honey? What is it? Okay, so lately, um, your girl's face has been freaking the heck out. I've been getting so many new pimples, and eee! boy, I hate it. I am not having it. I'm, it's so annoying, like, I'm so over acne, what the heck. I don't know, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, like, I just can't stay away from dairy, like, that's so yummy. Yes, what is it? Come here, come up here. Okay, good. Say hello. Now that I've got this beautiful Shrek color on my face, I'm just gonna chill for, I don't know, I never tie my face masks. It always says like a certain time on the back, but I never, I never go by that. I wait for it to fully dry and I just like chill and do whatever the heck I'm doing and then when I feel like it, I'll rinse it off. So, that's the plan. Alrighty, now on to my nighttime skincare routine. To get my skin as soft as a butt. Jeez, what is that? What's happening? As soft as a baby's buttocks. Okay, first things first, I use the Proactive Pore Targeting Solution. This has benzoyl peroxide gel, USP acne treatment. As you can see, I still have pimples. Ugh, this thing's useless. Oh. Useless. I'm kidding. Now, to be honest with you, I don't wash my face twice a day. I find it slightly unnecessary. Um, but again, I have pimples, so maybe it isn't necessary, and I'm not doing that. Um, who knows? Not me. Next, I'm going to go in and apply some lotions and potions. I'm using the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I don't like avocado, but um, I'm not eating it, so it doesn't freaking matter. What do you want, you needy girl? What do you want? You hang out with me? Okay, come here. Stay in the sink with me. I'm gonna go in with my Laneige Water Bank Essence for all skin types. Yes? I'm going in with my Laneige Water Bank Lotion all over my face and my neck. Finito. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and put on glycemid all over, not all over, but on some places on my body, including my arms and my knees. There ain't no ash to be found in this household. Okay, okay. Hey. Now, that's the end of my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you'll enjoy um, following through a typical Sunday with me. It wasn't the most eventful or productive thing ever, but you know, it was, it was enough, okay? It gets me through. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Come back soon. Look at this. Don't you want to be a part of this family? Like, comment, subscribe. Hee <laughs> hee.